Kirsty the Kirster. And Kendall, how's it going? Oh. I think everything's going okay. Oh, cool. I've got some jobs ready Love it when that happens. What? <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah, well, fuck him. Okay. I guess we'll start with Wilo. Basement. Incense, crucifix, escape. And they extended the event by a few days to make sure that uh, everybody can get it. Yeah, why low if you can high? Getting weird hiccups. I don't like it. Anyways, this is just going to be a short-ish stream. Get back in the swing of things. I did hear a door open up here, though. point five I keep hearing something get touched fourteen point three is it this room That's right here. Okay. Actually, I need that. Oh, I have enough. I have too much shit. Oh, boy. Might be a shit spot, but... Point two. <laughs> Orbulons in this economy? Hey girl, let me get a look at your orbs. 
my headphone cords. My headphone cord keeps getting like super fucking twisty and it's like really, really annoying me. I don't know. Oh, dots. I will still continue to push this here. And next time, uh, hopefully be ready. EMF Raiju, Ultraviolet, Ghost Riding, Freezing Temps. Could be everything. Yeah, we're almost... it looks like, uh... I'll double check it, but, uh, last I checked... Oh, fuck. We're really close to getting the, the final thing of the event done. Which is cool. And they extended it by a couple days. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's not ultraviolet. Get a crucifix in there, spirit box. We'll do cleanse next. There might be a hiding spot in the garage. Is he okay? Uh, I don't know why I got rid of that. I'm gonna need it for some extra money. Possibly. If I can find the boner. And the, uh, cursed possession. I love finding cursed possessions. Put you here. Move you up here. Try to get as much coverage. Wait, let it go. Okay, we're almost in hunting range, but that should give me. Was it ninety seconds? Uh, no great hiding spot in the garage. Or upstairs, really. Man, this- the RNG is, uh... Kinda fucky wucky for hiding spots right now, ain't it? We got a hiding spot there. It's not the best, given... Yeah, hi. I'm really impressed by you. Where the fuck is that mirror? Can you go away? I guess I should get another smudgy wudgy. Just to be safey wafy. And we haven't found the boner yet, and I haven't found the possession yet. Rochi, how's it going, dude? Okay, no... Music box, no cards. There's no Ouija board in there. 
No summoning circle in the basement. Nothing there. I don't remember where the mirror spawns. I think it spawns in the basement. Oh, we have a voodoo doll. Yeah, hi. Go away. Get away from me! Jesus Christ, this thing is super pissy. Classic Windows update. Got another hunt. No crucifix. Uh, bone yet. Oh, well, all right, fuck it. That's the beauty thing about updates, ain't it? Uh, it just keeps, you know, they, they're like, oh, we're gonna update your PC, and then, uh, it breaks everything. Oh yeah, I just remembered! Broken crucifixes, you can get two photos out of it. Judy Holland. Okay, we got the breaker on at the very least. Dining room or kitchen? Unless it's following me. Dining room is 12. I didn't even see you, bitch. I might already need to pop pills, which is not great. Uh, no, we're good. Could be following me, though. Okay, it's probably the kitchen. That's probably from upstairs, the warbling.
I'm dead, I'm dying? Yeah, it's from upstairs. See if it's gotten significantly colder. Not significantly, but definitely enough to reconfirm. Yeah, it's kitchen. I can drop you for now. It's <sighs> fucking cough, dude. We got a hiding spot up here. And a boner. Is there another totem? No. Okay. Drop you there. Crucifix, escape, motion sensor. All right. Watch, it's moved. Suck. I'm not gonna do Lighthouse. I'm just gonna cycle through three of them. Because Lighthouse is, despite being a small map, it's so much of a pain in the ass to go up the steps. Like I said, I want this to be a short ish stream. I got some shit I need to take care of. It's mostly to just get back into the swing of things. After taking a mini hiatus. And back to goal. Never dies, apparently. I know I have another pair of headphones, and I might s swap to those, even though I like these ones. Just because the cord is getting a little too tangly for my liking. And I think whenever I get employed again, and have some additional income coming in, I'm going to uh, invest in wireless headphones. Yeah, I'd like to do that, Rochi. I could hypothetically use my In way. Raycons, which I use for my phone, but that would be a bit of a pain in the ass to swap, I feel. Between my phone and computer. Seru. Yeah, I would like to get some wireless ones whenever I get some cash again. I just have to remember to constantly charge them or, you know, keep batteries on hand depending on the, the type they are. Of course. Past the Seru on the left hand side.
Okay. Definitely need to pop pills for that and bring in a crucifix. Physical switch! I don't like it. So I don't have any evidence, but we know it's not a phantom. Oh, right, we did, yeah, 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 right, we did good spirit box. I forgot, I'm dumb. That's how out of it I am, Rochi. It threw something at me, that's cool. Oh, we have writing. I haven't checked temps actually in a bit. I just realized I could have dropped the freezing. Ugh. It's close, but no cigar. Joey, calm down. <clears throat> Joey. I want to move the camera. In the unlikely event there's orbulons. Uh, crucifix and hunt, huh? Well, I already got a UV in there. We can rule out wraith with the salt, and if it does step in it, at the very least, we'll get photos, right? Oh, it's definitely not a wraith. I think it's safe to say that we're not getting uh, photographs. Not photographs, fingerprints. I'd say it's possibly an EMF 5 or really delayed freezing temps. Spirit Mare, Moron, and a Degen. It's close, but not quite freezing. I don't know why I took a photo of that. I actually don't need the camera anymore. Uh, dots would be degen. Mare. Freezing temps would be moron. I'm leaning towards spirit or moron. But... I don't know. Definitely getting in within hunting range.
I don't think it's dots or orbs. Is there a hiding spot back here? This would be a really good spot to listen, even though it'd be dangerous. Uh, there is, but it's not great. All I'd have to do is just walk in far enough and he'd see me. Okay, this is probably the best spot. didn't. Okay, good. Sometimes these motherfuckers like to do that, and it's very upsetting. Okay. The amount of times where I've, like, tried to preemptively set up a safe zone for me to hide in only for that piece of shit ghost to just be like, LOL. I'm gonna warp over there now. Uh, I hate it. Let's get another smudgy wudgy just in case. Ashy washy. How doth you do, Ashington Slashington? Ashronimo Rex. the hunt threshold for a moron. I think it's a moron. A second hunt. The ghoul thing? Oh, you mean ghoul flex? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Piece of shit, asshole ghost. Pretty confident it's a moron, but I want to do a second hunt just to just to reconfirm. It'd be freezing, right? Yeah. I'm okay. Could complain, but I won't. Well, hopefully you get some good rest from crashing out early.
We watched the 1990 Night of the Living Dead adaptation. And a ripoff of Blade. Called Vampire Assassin. Along with more Haunting of Hill House. And we're wrapping up Hill House uh, this Saturday. Ashy, you love Lurgy season. So they call you Lurgy season Ashy. Yeah, 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 I'm not going out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hunt me, you fuck. Fuck you, you, you ghost event asshole. That was a smudge stick, Ashy. It, uh, blinds the ghost for a set amount of time. Actually, I just realized something. Yeah, hi. Get out of here. The fuck is that other crucifix I threw in here? Oh, no time for that. Yeah, it's a hundred percent a moron. I mean, it could be. It could be a mop head that we just set on fire. Ashy, you love fiery mop heads. Where the fuck did I put that other... Yeah, hi. Stop fucking closing the door on me, dirty little shit. Yeah, I heard. I'm tired of you. Oh, there it is. Trying to get the last, uh, the last safe objective, safe-ish objective, anyway. Just prevent a hunt for, with the crucifix. <clears throat> and I still got a smudgy wudgy. <clears throat> All I gotta do is wait for these lights to shut off. Hypothetically safe back here. But yeah, it's basically incense, uh, ashy. <clears throat> it's protection against the spooky wookies. You know, this is on console now, too, uh, Ashiwa. It's on PS5. You can play it and get get spooky wookied. Cause you love being spooky wookied. That's why they call you spooky wookie ashy washy. You fucking hunt, you fuck. Oh for sure. It's not for everybody. I'm just saying you could if you wanted to.
You fucking chav, hunt me. Oh my god. Ashy, you love jangly keys. So they call you jangly key Ashy. Just gonna throw all this shit downstairs. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. This is Go's gonna do nothing. It's gonna eat my ass, that's what it's gonna do. Hey. This ghost doesn't want to do shit. Oh my god. It's like, no, this crucifix isn't here. No, dude. I don't want to hunt, man. That's scary, dude. Good news is since it's a moron, it's blind longer with the um the smudge sticks. So that's nice. Oh, it is hunting. I guess my crucifix placement was bad. It almost debated me, Ashy. Alright, fuck this. We're out of here. The motherfucker thinks it can debate me? Not on my watch, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a moron. That was just... I've got some ready for you. It was faster! Oh, whatever. Fuck off. It's fine. Fucking spirit-ass goddamn ghost. It sounded faster! Whatever. Uh, Bradley Young. Photo of the ghost, sanity, escape. Have you, uh, have you tried out Shadows of the Damned yet, Ashy? It has a lot of dick jokes that I think you will appreciate. <clears throat> your your sidekick uh is named Johnson and uh he turns into your sidearm which is called the boner. And the upgraded version of that is, uh, the hot boner. It might be a basement ghost. Or it could have warped down here. It's a basement ghost. <laughs> uh, it's, it's called the hot boner, and it fires sticky bombs. Because, you know. And then its final upgrade, uh, it turns into the big boner. It's like a giant cannon the main character holds between his legs. And he makes thrusting movements when he fires it. Uh, and when he fires it, uh, he yells out, Taste my big boner. It's a very classy game. The dildo bat is, is, is fun. Uh, especially in its just blunt stupidity. 
Uh, if I recall, the reboot of Saints Row decided it was too good to have a dildo bat. God damn, dude! Shadows of the Damned is gonna be one of the few new-ish games that I start for this Back to Goal season, the remainder of Back to Goal. Because I'm gonna try to primarily focus and not start too much else, and only focus on, uh... Uh, stuff I've already got in progress, which is quite a bit. But a lot of it is short-ish that I could plow out. Uh, it's not even that it decided to be serious, it's it's just really terrible. And cringe. Yes, it is. Touch the base of it. Walk up and touch it. It's there for you to touch. Uh, and more importantly, uh, the Saints Row reboot is, uh, apparently buggy as dicks. Like, almost to an unplayable degree. Oh good, it killed the breaker, I just realized that. That's good. It's great when it kills the breaker. Wait, did it kill the breaker? No. It's just... Uh, it, it really is. I love the goofy shit. I don't know who they were trying to make the Saints Row reboot for. But I do wish developers would stop taking their beloved IP that sell well because of its unique identity and sell well because of its unique selling points and go, you know what, let's try to appeal to a wider audience and then they just sandblast everything off of it that made it unique and then the old fans don't want it and uh, the new fans don't give a shit Cause there are like new, new, there, there, there are a few new fans. Like I'm sure the, I'm sure the reboot has its fans, but probably pales in comparison to the legions of old fans. It's very weird, in my opinion, to uh, decide to completely reboot a franchise and change it into something totally different on your. Sixth game? Oh yeah, I know. Because I played the original Saints Row and I hated the original Saints Row. I thought it was a piece of shit. A shitty G GTA ripoff. Uh, and I hated it so much that I completely ignored the franchise. Uh, for years. And then I finally, uh... I think I rented Saints Row 4. Uh, because people were like raving about it and I, I played it and I bought and then I, I liked it and I bought it uh, and I went back and played a bit of three I never got around to beating three though oh emf5 spirit shade and a miling huh Joey and we have UV A miling. Uh, I never got around to playing much of two. I know it has its fans.
Good. Uh, I did try to stream Saints Row 3 once, but then I remembered it has all sorts of licensed music in it. Uh, which kind of makes things difficult to stream. Joey! Stop it. Alright, I got like one or two more games, then I gotta dip. Yeah, we'll just say one more. We'll end on Willow. End how we began. I will be back later tonight, though. Although I don't know what time. Helen Bailey. And Silent Hill Ascension on Thursday, for sure. But yeah, I don't... I don't... It's... it's uh, studios keep doing that, though. They try to appeal to a quote-unquote wider audience, and then they lose all their fans, and this wider audience that they're trying to appeal to has no interest in the game. Another good example of it is Ninja Gaiden 3. You had a franchise... ...that is known for being brutally, savagely difficult to the point where it's almost comically unfair. And then for the third entry, after Itagaki leaves, and to be fair, I'm not even a fan of Ninja Gaiden. And I'm not a fan of Itagaki, because I think the, the difficulty's too bullshit. But then for the third game, they go, you know what, let's, let's tone down the difficulty substantially and simplify the combat. Substantially, to try to appeal to a wider audience who finds these games too complex and too difficult. Uh, and then they do that, and uh, critics hate it, the fans hate it, and uh, nobody, nobody wants to, no, no new players want to play it. Now I know it got, it got like a revamp version that was mildly better received because they, they cranked the difficulty up a bit and tried to expand the combat a bit, but damage was already done. <sighs> Yeah, I, yeah, I know Joe. Joe's, Joe's being a butthead. 8.8. Okay, cool. It's down here. Doesn't make right 2 also kind of did that, although that was a rare instance where it was like, let's do it with the second entry as opposed to a long-running franchise. And that was also doing it before it was popular. Like, Doesn't make right 2 was such a ginormous fucking misstep for the franchise. I know it has its fans. Um, I don't necessarily understand it, but you know, whatever. If, it, if you like it, I'm happy for you. But still. Mm, the game is, is the, 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 we, we had a handful of complaints that said the game was too hard, so let's sandblast off the, the difficulty, even though that's what it got praised for. And, uh, try to simplify everything, and then nobody likes it. <gasps> hey! Is that an interaction, or a fingerprinty? It was a fingerprinty. Prin pran, prin 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 pran, prin prin pran, prin prin pran, prinny pran pran pran, prinicus pranicus, prin 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 pran, pran 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 prin, prin pran prin pran, prin pran pran. What's going, Prin? Oh, let's see, we have UV, we're at 76. I am trying to spank the naughty ghosts, yes. And reminding them that they're stupid for being dead. Okay, uh, it can't be a djinn because it killed the breaker. That's mildly comforting, knowing that my sanity won't be s Yeah, okay, hi, I'm very proud of your ability to throw that saw blade. 
Let's just move this over here before you hurt somebody. Fucking asshole. Uh, okay. We didn't... We, no, no, we don't have a photo of the ghost yet. And even... No, yeah, it still could be a phantom. It is touching a lot of shit and it's throwing a lot of shit, so it could be a polter. Let's get a crucifix. We have Orbulon, so it still could be a Mimic, or it's a Banshee Hantu, or Obake. Let's remove the Mimic for the time being, since it might not be actual orbs. Could be fake orbs, could be mimic orbs. Well, I guess since Prinny showed up, we'll do one more, one more after this, but I'm still gonna only do Willow. I know, you do have a voice of an angel, it's okay. Uh... Hey, you fuck, speak to me. You smell like dick cheese, you rancid, rancid fuck. Joe, Joe, stop whining. Who put this hammer back here? Get this hammer out of there. Uh... Okay. So it's possibly no spirit box or just stubborn with spirit box, but let's see here. For a mimic, we would need spirit box and freezing temps. Uh, for a banshee, you know, Obek is EMF, ghost riding is none of them. So it will not be ghost riding. Dots is a banshee. Okay, cool. Actually, I can leave orbs. If we get spirit box, it's a mimic. If we get Freezing Temps, it's a Hantu. If we get Dots, it's a Banshee. And we get EMF, it's an Obeg. Joe, calm down. My mother's uh, nurse is over in the other room. Joe can tell that there is someone in the house. And he is uh, very upset by this because he wants to go greet them. But he is not allowed. For he is a small, simple little boy. He's throwing a tantrum behind me. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. But I can't let you out. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, it's real close. It's so close to c freezing. Oh my god, it's 0, 0. Let me Give me that negative. Yeah, there we go, baby. Uh, okay, so it still could be a mimic. Hypothetically. Alright, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna guess Haunt 2, we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna do one more, one more, last one, last one, for real, for real, for real. Saru, did you get your your blood your blood badge? Your bloody badge, Saru? Your sweet blood moon badge? Blood Moon Saru, that's what they call you. And you're gonna have to touch it again when the weather effect is unlocked. Welcome back. Like hey, it's a hantu. So we are at 97.16%. So yeah, if you have Phasmophobia on any platform right now, get in here and touch this thing. And then you'll get the, uh, 
this sweet animated Blood Moon card. Uh, and then the Blood Moon weather effect, if we had 100%. Uh, it's supposed to expire like a day or two ago. Uh, and then the devs were like, eh, you guys are pretty close. We're going to increase it. Uh, yeah, I'm never going to get it on console. I got it once on PC. Uh, I mean, these th this one I can definitely get on console. This one's a big, big maybe. It's still a pain in the ass. This is like a fucking nightmare. I really wish I was streaming when I got it. But I never wanted to do it again. That's why I really ho was hoping. Hoping, hoping, hoping that the console version there would be cross save. But there's no cross save. No, there's no DLC for this. Uh, Pren. Uh, what is going on right now is a, a, a community event. It's a seasonal event. Basically, like, the, the, the entire community works together to complete objectives and destroy blood totems. Uh, and if enough people do it, uh, you get free content. Uh, granted, you have to play during the period to get the content. In previous years, oh fuck, I forgot to take a photo, whatever. Previous years, um, it was basically a stupid Easter egg hunt, uh, for previous events. Uh, and you know, they were neat in theory, but like the amount of things that you had to find, uh, kind of were ridiculous. And sometimes they're really, really small, so it was really tedious to find them all. Um, whereas, this is a lot easier. The drawback, of course, is though, uh, you know, uh, with the previous events, you just, you could just roll in and do it solo, knock it out in a day. Uh, with this shit, you know, you have to wait. He, like, it's, the, the number is much higher, so, you know. But usually by completing uh, in-game challenges or, or, or seasonal events, you get like trophies for your trophy cabinet and uh, uh, cosmetics for your ID badge. Okay, so you're down here again. Or at least kind of down here. It's 10.5. Yeah, Thaz has done a, a pretty decent job, Prin, of being DLC free. Okay, I think it's here. A lot of games in, in this game's position probably would have already resorted to doing downloadable content cosmetics and whatnot. You buy a silly hat! But no, fast devs uh, have not done that <coughs> yet. I'm always skeptical now. <coughs> As Activision and Ubisoft have eroded any trust I have for video games uh, not having microtransactions. Yeah, I wish they were a little more open open to that. I get it, they want a controlled, unique experience and all that fun stuff. And I'm also fine, of course, with, uh, you know, not wanting cheaters to ruin other people's games and stuff like that. Uh, but I do wish that, uh, there was a mod scene and whatnot. That'd be cool. But yeah, uh, Activision and Ubisoft, I don't know if others have done it too, they might have. They have this, uh, <coughs> great tradition of releasing a game without any microtransactions. And everybody's like, oh my god, there's no microtransactions in this? And then it gets praised to high hell and everything like that, because it's like, oh my god. They, they did the, 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 the bare minimum not shitty thing and were decent. And then, like, a month to two months after the game comes out, they go, LOL, here's microtransactions. And the whole thing is because they know reviewers will trash their game because of microtransactions. And the whole and they know that there are some people who will not buy their game because of microtransactions. 
So their logic is they sneak them in after the fact because no no reviewer ever really updates their review score. Uh, and even if they did, that doesn't really get it reflected on Metacritic. And most games, you know, the bulk of their sales occur in, like, you know, day one, first week, first month, that sort of thing. So by that point, they already have their base money. It's, it's really shitty. I hate it. Yeah, I, I like I, that's I, I agree. That's why I've I've said I've said it before. The day they remove the current character models and replace them with professional ones, I'm actually going to be very sad. Like Activision did that with that uh, Crash Team Racing game that they did, and it was super egregious, especially because it's a fucking kids game. I was like, wow, you guys are... You guys are fucking shit. Not a mare. You know what? I'm just gonna guess Poulter and, and, and dip. Right. And then we'll raid out. It's getting a little toasty and Joe just throwing a bitch fit. I don't know if the person has left yet. But they were throwing a bunch of shit at the same time, I think. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's a double-edged sword in that regard, yeah, for sure. I'm probably wrong. Uh, no, it was a gin. Yeah, it was wrong. Oh, well, we did, uh, what was it? Six games and lost two. That's fine. That's good. No deaths. Anyways, I will be back later tonight with more shit. This is just a, a brief, brief little stream stream to, uh, get in the, uh, get back in the swing of things after taking like a week or so off. I'm gonna send you all on over to Ashiwa, who was here earlier. Uh, and he's doing Tears of the Kingdom. It looks like he just started about 12 minutes ago. So y'all take care of yourself, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and I'll catch you all next stream. Goodbye.